The nobles meddling was bad enough without Nebet to stir them up further. This is intolerable. Am I not king? Do I not rule this world? They clearly don't respect your power, dear king. And to send this senator back here... Perhaps the Republic believes you need more supervision. But you need not concern yourself. I have brought a powerful ally to ensure nothing comes of your enemy's plans. Allow me to introduce the Alliance Commander. It's already clear that you stand apart from the greatest and wisest rulers in the galaxy. <sighs> a truly special king. Ah, yes. Well, you're wise to see it so quickly. Welcome to my world. Ah, <sighs> Nebet's provocations have utterly drained me. A hearty meal will aid my recovery. Do enjoy your visit. As you can see, the king all but eats from my hand. He is the key to our victory here. Onderon's capital is equipped with powerful defensive cannons that could easily destroy the Republic fleet in orbit. The cannons cannot be operated remotely, but... If we spur the king into a civil war against his nobles, the distraction will suffice. We will infiltrate the capital amid the chaos of battle, seize control of the guns, and eradicate the Republic fleet before they even realize they're in danger. Why the distraction? If he's king, can't he simply walk us in, or just order his people to fire the guns? Most of the palace staff, especially the soldiers guarding it, are loyal to the Republic. We can't risk them warning the fleet before the cannons are fired. Petrif already suspects that his nobles are moving against him. We need to push that paranoia further. Through intermediaries, I have hired a band of mercenaries to infiltrate the hunting lodge and assassinate the king. Fortunately, you will swoop in to defeat these deadly attackers just in time. You will save the king, earn his trust, and push him further from his nobles all at once. I'm not your lackey. Killing a few mercenaries? I have better things to do. It is certainly beneath your talents, but you must see the value in this sort of escalation. Petrif will be pushed over the edge, straight into our hands. If my calculations are accurate, the mercenaries will arrive any moment now. I'll be happy to guide you to them over the comm. Good luck. I take it the ruthless assassins have been dealt with. Now that the area has been secured, we can exit the safe room. This is an outrage! They think they can kill me? Me! I am the king of Onderon! Once they realized your strength, Nebet and her Republic conspirators knew they could no longer hope to control you. Killing you was their only option. But I'm the king! Uh, yes. I have deployed my droids to defend the premises. I assure you that you're now quite safe. Good, good, excellent. Well done, yes. My king, what of your cousins? They're still at the ancient proving grounds. And? What do they have to do with any of this? It's possible they're in danger too, good king. If your enemies are attacking you, they could also target your family. But, the commander who valiantly saved your life can certainly rescue your cousins as well. Your enemies are clearly ruthless. It may already be too late, but I'll do what I can. Inconceivable! They have royal blood! I can't believe this! My blaster! I need my blaster! Oh, where did I put it? His gullibility exceeds even my greatest estimates. We have given him fear. Now, we must give him anger. Find the King's cousins at the ancient proving ground. Kill them, 
Then spread evidence that Nibet is to blame. Petrif will demand retribution, and we'll have our diversion. I seem to be doing all the work, Savik. When will you contribute to this mission? My talents are best devoted to controlling the King and preparing my droids for the eventual assault. The Onderon Wilds are treacherous. You should take a guide with knowledge of the terrain. Speed is crucial. The Republic fleet is about to begin refueling, but my plan is unfolding perfectly. Victory will be ours. Not one step closer. Identify yourself. I'm not here to harm you, but I will if you don't surrender. Now. Surrender? Absurd! Our cousin is the king of Onderon. All of it. Dispatch this vagrant! Stay behind me! For Onderon! How dare you! Our cousin is the king! I'm sure he'll be very upset about your deaths. What? Y you don't mean... You'll regret this! Savik, Petrov's cousins are dead. Such a tragedy. I'll inform the king they were slain hours ago. Well done. Savik, out. Commander, good. The king is attempting to rally support for an invasion of the capital. Your efforts were beyond successful. My plan unfolds precisely as scheduled. The king will rejoin us momentarily. Having realized he lacks the military support to reclaim his palace, he will ramble about traitors, demand the blood of his enemies, and remind us yet again that he is king. Then, with the simplest prodding, he will realize where to acquire the troops he needs. You really do have this down to a science, don't you? I am not a cunning fighter like you. I learned that lesson years ago. So, I have honed alternative skills to secure my victories. The traitorous, cowardly, I want them all dead! Nabet, the nobles, my worthless bannermen, the Republic, all of them! Dear King, surely your allies rallied to your cause. Some did, and they will receive a King's reward. But far too few. We cannot take the capital with such a small force. I only wish the Empire could provide more aid in these dark times. No one else on this world has the strength to challenge the nobles and their off-world comrades. It seems impossible to believe. Hmm. No. Onderon's strength is not yet lost. There is one group. They've hated the nobles for years. Try to undermine all relations with off-worlders. I always dismiss them as backward and paranoid, but perhaps they were right all along. Uh, about the Republic, that is. They are known as the Untamed. Their leader is a beast lord, a Kuru. He's a keeper of Onderon's old ways, but he will not join us easily. Please, King Petrith. If we cannot supply the troops you so badly need, at least allow us to win this ally for you. A Kuru and his Untamed are proud and stubborn. They have no more love for me than the nobles. I'm not sure how you could secure their allegiance. This beast lord might not possess your level of intelligence, but then, who does? I'm sure he can be reasoned with. Indeed, yes. Even a fool could see the wisdom in joining my cause. I will prepare myself for war. Good fortune to you, friends. All too easy. The Untamed are Onderon's only other major group. Once they're weakened by joining this attack, they will pose no further threat to Imperial operations. There is a proper way to seek an audience with them. An old ritual. They love old rituals. Excellent. And one more thing. I've learned that Akoru's elder brother, Brutan, once trained as a Sith. He died fighting Republic forces on Hoth. The rest of the Untamed aren't aware of Brutan's service. 
to leave Onderon and serve off-worlders would be abhorrent to them. Perhaps a useful bit of leverage over Akoru. How did that happen, exactly? Brutan's master served Darth Jadis. I expect they hope to train him, then send him back to seize leadership of the Untamed and disrupt Onderon's Republic-friendly regime. Unfortunately, that plan never came to fruition. It would have made our task much simpler. I must finish preparing my own droids for the assault. It is best if any Imperial identifying components are removed. Good luck. You desecrate our shrines, flaunt our traditions, and then have the gall to come here? I am a Koru, Beast Lord of Onderon, and I do not tolerate insults. Speak quickly if you want to live. King Petrov is attacking the capital. Your warriors will help him. <laughs> oh, you are a bold one. I'm intrigued. You think insulting our ways will convince me to help a man I hate? The Untamed are the true masters of this world. We know everything that happens here, including Petrif's idiotic squabbles with his nobles. Why help one against the other, when I want you all dead? Because I know your brother's secret. I can tell your followers, or you can do what I say. What? What do you believe you know about my brother? He trained to become a Sith like me. He died serving off-world masters. Curse you! Must you defile everything in your path? Untamed! Hear me! Rally all warriors! The hour of our revolution is at hand! Bring forth Kratilok! He and all of our beasts shall have a half portion! Let them be fueled for the fight, but still hungry for victory! Ha! Kratilok! <laughs> but his beast's name! It's actually a pretty clever pun, if you speak ancient Onderonian at least. <laughs> I'm honestly impressed. <laughs> Petrif will learn what real strength is. We will show the galaxy the true power of Onderon! I'm telling you, an idiot doesn't come up with a pun like that. Or speak a forgotten language. Insane? Perhaps. Xenophobic? Bigoted? Murderous? All fair. But he's not an idiot. Not the bigger idiot, anyway. Debating relative idiocy, are we? They can't decide who's more foolish, Petrif or Akuru. Really, now? Onderon, your conquering king returns! After this day, none will question my power! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, he said you are sure to win, oh mighty king. I am indeed. Our noble forces await us. To war! Between Petrif and Akuru, the capital's security forces should be adequately distracted. While they attack the main gate, my droids will blow open the city wall near a sewer bypass. That will be your entry to the Orbital Defense Cannon's control center. Once you destroy the Republic fleet in orbit, our victory on Corellia will be one step closer. Where will you be during the assault? Remotely directing my droid commandos. They will supervise Petrov and Akuro to ensure they stay on task. After all, I wouldn't want to waste all this effort we've put into undermining Onderon's government. To that end, once the fleet is dealt with, you should regroup with Petrov and his troops. If you aid them in defeating Senator Nibet and her Republic allies, Petrif can rule unchallenged as the Empire's puppet. Onderon would be ours.
You think he'll survive long enough to even reach the palace? With our aid? I have no doubt. I will deploy my droids to clear a path. Good luck, Commander. This will be a day long remembered. Onderon will return to the old ways. The pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Onderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. You fight, and you lose. His loss is my gain, Nabet. I've beaten you. I've won! Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrif? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? No sense lying now. Your treason is over. I've won. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. Total destruction of all Republic ships in orbit. And without a single Imperial casualty. You have served your Empire well indeed, Savik. Empress Asina will reward your ingenuity and loyalty. Savik has done an excellent job. Her plan was well conceived and flawlessly executed. Without you, this would not have been possible. I am fortunate to have worked alongside you. If only Petrif had survived. Onderon's resources could have been a great benefit to us. Resources are not our most urgent concern. Savik, you will depart for Corellia at once. Yes, Lord Malgus. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Megshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next target. Ensure another victory, and the Republic will have no hope of stopping us. So, what's our next stop? Set course for Mekshar. Ah, we know it well. A mined-out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <coughs> We'd love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please? Please? You served your purpose. Go. Oh. Well, keep us in mind, if you ever want anything, at all. I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? <laughs>